What's the solution? There are solutions. And the first solution is to remember and understand and look at what we got, how we got here, and where we're going. It doesn't take a trend forecaster to figure it out. We need a new direction and a new path. And what I want to do is begin with restoring America. I know, I know the country wasn't great. We've had problems with slavery and they were real. And discrimination, they're real. There were a lot of problems. They slaughtered the Indians. I know. But our ancestors came here also because it was the freest nation on earth. It was the nation where anybody from any level, from any country, any nationality could start at the bottom and go to the top. Now the rug's pulled out from us. The top is only for the 1%. There were great things about America. This was the land of quality. This was the country that nations around the world wanted to emulate for the freedoms that we the people had, that our founding fathers fought for. It wasn't just about money and the mafia controlling everything. I want to see a restoration of America, restore America. Look at our cities. Look at Detroit. Look at Camden and Trenton. Look at East St. Louis. Look at Oakland. Look around the country. One great city declining after another. After our presidents, one after another, sold us out. The raping of our constitutional rights and the dissemination of all the laws that would have protected us from cheap labor, stealing all our jobs, taking down the trade barriers, sending our jobs overseas to communist China. When I was a kid, oh man, they hated communist China until we started doing business. Bring home the jobs, bring home the troops, rebuild America and restore the nation with the principles of the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and the Constitution. So how do we restore America? How do we bring it back to its greatness? All right, number one, has to start with grassroots. It has to start with you. You're the first root to build yourself spiritually, emotionally, and physically. And I don't mean in a religious sense. Morality, the golden rule. Number two, buy local, everything that you can. Number three, break the chains. They gave them a name, chain stores, they got you. Don't continue to support the corrupt systems. We need a new way. And the new way is the moral way. It's simple. It's as old as the Bible. It's as old as anything that you want to read or believe in. It's called the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You know, I was in Germany opening up the Trends Journal, a German edition. It was in 2012. I was in Berlin. And as I looked at Berlin, I realized that before it was bombed out, it was probably grander than Paris. Wide boulevards. No building, probably over 14 stories, so sun was shining in everywhere. Sidewalks wide enough for cafe tables, four or five deep. People walking, and to bicycle. You take, walk a couple of blocks, there's greenery around everywhere. A beautifully laid out city. And I'm thinking to myself, the Germans, how did this happen? The 1930s, the Germans were at the height of Western civilization, culturally philosophically, scientifically. I'm thinking of the German names. Bach, Beethoven, Goethe, Wagner, Einstein, Marlene Dietrich, Fritz Lang. The Germans, highly educated, sophisticated people. And I said to myself, as I'm looking at these buildings, a grand building from maybe 1880, and then all new construction from bombed out World War II Germany. And then another old building. And everywhere I looked, the same thing, an old building like bookends and new building between. 
said, how could the Germans let a two-bit freak like Hitler destroy their country? Everything that took thousands of years to build was now destroyed and will never be the same. Hitler, a guy that Charlie Chaplin played better than he did, a cartoon character. And I thought to myself, I'm of Italian descent. Look at Mussolini. Look at the Italians. I mean, not for nothing. Da Vinci, Puccini, Verdi, Caruso. The names go on and on. How could they let a freak like Mussolini destroy their country? I said, what is it in the human spirit that allows this to happen? And I was down in Chile. You may have read the story. I talked about it on the air in 2010. I was looking to get out of here. I had enough of this crap in this country. I had enough of my rights being robbed from me. I'm tired of my money being stolen from me. Like people like John the Slime Corzine of MF Global. I'm tired of being taxed to the hilt while the big corporations get a free ride and these phony non-for-profits keep ripping off the system. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the nation going to war as people are starving. I'm tired of people that worked all their lives losing their homes because they can't pay their taxes. I'm ready to get out of here. I was down in Uruguay and in Argentina, ready to leave. And when I came back on April 23rd, I realized you can't run away. There are two-bit freaks everywhere. Name the country. Hey, you got one over there in France, Hollande. Hey, how about Cameron? Or do you like Blair before him? Or do you like Sarkozy? Name the country you got your freak. This is my country. And no two-bit freak is going to run me out. If they want to, they could come and talk to me man to man. I'm staying. This is the country that my grandparents came to. This is my America. And I'm putting my money and my heart and my mind in what I believe could be the second American Revolution. That's why I bought the 1750 Franz Rogan House, the 1774 Academy, and the 1763 Dr. Jensen House that are situated on the most historic corner in the United States of America, in colonial Kingston, New York, the first capital of New York State, the place that had its roots in the Revolution. It was burnt down by the British in 1777 and restored. And a key place, not only for the Revolution, but helping to build and rebuild America. If we had the first American Revolution with part of its roots there, we can have the second American Revolution. A revolution of the heart and the mind and the spirit and morality, something that doesn't exist when you send drones to kill innocent people, when you allow banks to rob your savings and take your home and put you on the street. A morality that doesn't exist when they make up names like austerity measures to rob your money, raise your taxes, take your pensions and benefits away and give them to the banksters. A morality that doesn't exist in a country that used to be the beacon of capitalism. Nothing wrong with capitalism. This ain't it. It's fascism. Too big to fail. Four words that killed America. Too big to fail? Could you imagine the founding fathers buying that one? And just think of Washington, what he said about not becoming involved in foreign entanglements. Read the quotes from Madison and Jefferson warning us, warning us in even using the terms of the money changers, the bankers, and the central banks robbing us, generation after generation. I want to go back to what the founding fathers believed in. 
what the Constitution and the Bill of Rights was about. I want to go back to the country that my ancestors came to so they can make their way and make a place in America. I've had enough of the multinationals and I've had enough of the mafia. That's right, the mafia. The Republican and Democratic mafia telling me how to think, what I should believe, taking my money, and if I was not courageous enough to stop them, to take my life. And that's why I'm taking you to the most historic four corners in the United States, Colonial Kingston, to begin the restoration of America and to start the second American Revolution. And not one of blood, not one of armies, not one of violence, but one of the heart, one of the spirit, and one of the mind. One that our founding fathers fought for. That's ingrained in the Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence. That the Constitution grants us our freedoms of speech, our second, third, fourth, and fifth amendment rights that are all being raped from us. I want them back. And that's the revolution that I'm fighting for in America. You know, people say, you know, if you don't like America, leave. You got a problem, leave. No, you got it wrong. You leave. You're the people that are destroying America. I want the original. I want the real America. And you could have it too. Begin where you are. Start restoring your community. Start restoring your cities. Start restoring America. And if you want to join me, come to Kingston and we'll restore America together. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not order. 